notify you that there is a Jeep license plate 2578081 parked on the grass. I'm very sorry, but you'll have to move your car and come back and enjoy the show. Okay, well, I'd like to welcome you all to Crazy For You, the Pinkerton Players 2010 production. I'm Alexa Crawford, the Vice Pre uh, the President of Pinkerton Players, and before we begin, I'd like to make a few announcements. Um, if, in, in the rare case of an emergency, there are exits located around the auditorium, and please exit out the nearest one. I'd also like you to now silence and turn off all cell phones, pagers, and any other noise-making devices, as well as please refrain from texting during tonight's performance because it is distracting to actors on stage as well as audience members around you. I'd also like to let you know that there will be a brief intermission during which I invite you to purchase concessions, but I'd like to let you know that there are no food or drink allowed in the theater. Also, there will be no flash photography or video recording during tonight's performance, but without further ado, I'd like to have you all enjoy the Pickard and Players 2010 production of Crazy Free.
this time Mr. Zangler is going to be dazzled. He's going to hire me on the spot. Oh, Mr. Zangler!
promise me that as soon as we're married, you're going to work in that bank. But I don't want to work in the bank. That's my mother's idea. I mean, that's all the trouble. Nobody in the theater takes me seriously. Well, if my mother were here right now, you know what I'd say to her, huh? I'd say, Mother! Bobby. <laughs> my God, that coat is just wonderful. I knew I Lonnie, dear, I was talking to Bobby. Well, so am I. Then get in line. Bobby? In the ten years since you've left Harvard, you've accomplished nothing. He got engaged to me. You've accomplished less than nothing. <laughs> now, the board of directors and I have decided to give you one last chance. If you fail at the bank this time, I'll cut off your allowance. When he's married to me, he won't need an allowance. No, he'll need a psychiatrist. <laughs> now, this is a deed of property. We like it signed. Fine, do you have a pen? Not by you, you idiot. By some other idiot who lives in Dead Rock, Nevada. I want you to go there immediately and get him to sign it. Dead Rock, Nevada? It will save the bank quite a sum in foreclosure costs. But who cares? I just want to dance. I don't care about money. <laughs> Mother, I'm sorry. He will go to Nevada over my dead body. That sounds like an excellent route. Bobby, get in the car. You'll go to Nevada first thing this morning. We're going to talk about going to Nevada. It's all arranged. Bad news. Go away. Call around. Someday in March or May. I can't be bothered now.
know what? Which is it, Bobby? Me or Dead Rock? Oh boy. <laughs> Taxi Grand Central Station! Well, I know that. Good. Now, being a man of vision, 
I would like to expand my saloon in the direction of your theater, which, if you recall, was turned into a post office 20 years ago. I'd love to see a show in that theater again. Everett's never going to happen. In 2,000 years, there has been one resurrection, and it was not a theater. <laughs> Look, Everett, this could be a big town again. Shops and cafes, sidewalks. We could have another, oh, we could have another Cleveland on our hands. But it's such a nice town as it is. Everett, come here. Look around, for God's sakes. We have a town full of singing cadavers. We have bodies lying in the street. We are the armpit of the American West. Play Hawkins! If I hear you talk to my father like that one more time, I'm going to sing you alive. You hear me? If he, he is so far from his head, you show him a way to Things are looking up. I've been looking the landscape over, and it's covered in four-leaf clover. Oh, things are looking up since love looked up at me. And he ain't gonna sell my deal if he don't want to. Bitter was my cup, but no more will I be the mourner, for I certainly the only woman for 50 miles. <laughs> Polly! Come on, Daddy, I gotta wash up. Deep miles. Polly! Polly! My God, what a wonderful name! See the sun beams, everyone beams, just because of is a mistake of me through. Thank you. Things are the thing you know. It's a great little world we live in. I'm as happy as a perfect love of time. He's happy as a book since love of time me. Yeah. 
Right. Harry, get me a drink so I can clean my lips. a little straw. Straw? <laughs> Mister, we got 30 year old cows passing water straw from this stuff. <laughs> my God, you're beautiful. You're like the Venus de Milo. Except for your arms, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, you have arms. <laughs> Don't go! But hey, maybe I'll meet you again sometime on like a rocket ship or something. <laughs> Have some pity on an Easterner. Show a little sympathy. No one possibly could be sterner than you have been with me. There's a job that I'm applying for. Let me put it to you thus. It's a partnership I'm dying for, Mr. and Mrs. Us. Before you file it on the shelf, let me tell you of myself. Oh, I'm the chappy to make you happy. I'll tie your shoes and chase your blues.
with something, huh? It's incredible. When I was just a little thing, I used to come to all the big shows with the lights and the music. I've never seen anything like it. What's it doing in Dead Rock? Well, this here town used to be a pretty big one about 50 years ago. <laughs> then all the mines ran out. And, well, I guess people kind of got up and left. Oh my god. Look at all of this stuff. You can't let the bank take all of this. How'd you know about that? Oh, well, uh, I couldn't help overhearing on the street, and, well, wait a second. I have an idea. About what? I know what to do. What the hell are you talking about? It's so simple. All we have to do is put on a show. Here, in this theater that will raise all the money to pay off the mortgage. Just put on a show. Right. In here. Right. <laughs> Oh, is everybody this stupid back east, or are you just special? Well, why not? Don't you ever go to the movies? Mickey Rooney does it all the time. Look, the guys in the bar can sing. I heard them, and, and I can get dancers from Zegler's Follies. They're my friends. They come and sell Whoa, 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 whoa. You mean, like, Bella Zangler? Yeah. Oh, my God. <clears throat> my daddy's talked about him, but you actually know him? Know him? Are you kidding? We're like, uh, this. Do you think that he'd come here and put on a show? I mean, if you asked him? No. No, but, but that's okay, Polly. We don't need him. I can do this. Just let me try and just think. Giving this whole theater a brand new life? I could accomplish something. I guess we can try it. Oh, oh, great! I'll call the girls first thing in the morning. Hey, watch this. Oh, I, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, that's all right. It's awful nice of you to help out like this. I mean, we hardly even know each other. <laughs> I'm Polly Baker. Bobby Child. What? Bobby Child. From New York City? <laughs> right. Ow! What'd I do? You're from that stinking bank! Yes, but I can explain. No, no, this is a trick, isn't it? No, You're it's here not. to take the theater, aren't you? Uh, Polly, I can see you. You're to do this to me, you and your singing and your dancing and your Bella's Angler! Oh, just listen no, to me. No, just go away! And you know what? Don't let me catch you talking to me again. Polly, wait! You and your singing and your dancing. Bella Zangler. Bella Zangler? <laughs> Bella Zangler! Well, 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 girls. What do you say if we pay a visit to Dead Rock, Nevada, yeah?
looking for a Miss Polly Baker. I'm Polly Baker. What's going on? Permit me to introduce myself. Uh, I am Bella Zangler. Get out of here. You're Bella Zangler? Well, what the hell are you doing in that job? I am saving theater. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, what? I am getting called three days ago from a very good friend of mine, Bobby Child. By the way, he is a wonderful boy. You should get to know him. He did say you were friends. Friends? We are like, uh, this. <laughs> That's just what he said. I'm not surprised. So, <clears throat> when do we start? We have show the baton, yeah? Yeah! I don't believe one word of this. And which word is that? Something smells fishy to me. I think it's moves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Sanger. Oh, you know me? Well, I've seen your picture in Variety a hundred times. What are you doing here? He's here to help us raise the money for the bank. This is miraculous. This is ridiculous. Wait. I am insulted. Do you want me to put on show or not? I am busy, man. Oh, yes. Okay, I do. Yeah. Uh, girls to vote.
I've got the idea. You can play with this. Just kidding. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
sit up. What? That was Joe Clutch Clutch. Hey, not too shabby, kiddo. Oh, excuse me. Have you seen anyone named Bobby Child? Uh, I have not seen him. Uh, you might want to try uh, Wyoming. Bobby? I mean, hi. What the hell are you doing? Well, I'm putting on a show. I'm Bella Zangler. You look like Karl Marx. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Dress up like some I'm idiot, Mr. Zangler. Uh, I just I want to tell you that uh, what you're doing here is it's like a miracle. The same you. <laughs> <laughs> Lock my door. 
somehow I couldn't warm up to one before. Pete? Sam? What was it that controlled me? What kept my love like me? My moves, Pete. My intuition told me you'd come. Four. 
Invest in something. Start a casino. Don't be stupid. Who would come to Nevada to gamble? <laughs>
in the theater business, it's a pretty good indication. <laughs> well, not here, Nate. Mm -mm. Take a look around. Before you came here, we were a bunch of lazy drifters. We didn't know anything. And then you showed up. And something amazing happened. And now you got us singing, dancing, caring about things, feeling alive. Days can be sunny with never a sign. Don't need what money can buy. 
and jokes all but now they change the tune and I guess
How do you do? Oh my god! Thank you! Tessie, Tessie. 
Life is bitter as chicory. Bitterness fills my cup. I'm sorry you brought that up. You'll tell me. Once I thought I'd search around for a little church around the corner, but now I see it never was meant to be. Once she used to praise me, why is she so high and boy does she She keeps on brushing you aside. Oh gosh, you're all at sea. You are contemplating suicide. It's much too much for me. You're not so dumb that you don't know the answer. Loving her is what causes that.
my throat, my nose. Morning, Polly. Oh, is that my telegram? I bet it's from my mother. It's just what I need right now. Dear Fathead, stop. Yep, it's Mom. Stop this nonsense, stop. This is your final notice, stop. Sounds like an electric bill. Get back home on the next train, stop. Don't stop, stop. Will stop allowance if you stop, stop. Your loving mother, stop. P.S. Your uncle stopped by. I wish he'd write letters. What's the matter? Hello? Hello? Is that you? Ow! Oh, hi, Bella. Doctor. 
doctor. The thing I really hate are stupid women from New York with their brains in their backsides. You are, without a doubt, the rudest, most uncouth, roughest man I have ever met! <laughs> oh my God.
Because since you kids fixed this place up, well, I can just look at it all day. It's just the way I remembered it. Well, I wish you could have seen Polly's mother all day. <laughs>
So, how do we vote? All in favor of trying the show again, say aye. Aye! All in favor of forgetting about it? Aye! aye. I can't believe this. Well, heck, Bobby, you know it wouldn't work. We already tried it, Bobby. I told you guys already, I don't have the energy. How about the no coat? Thanks. For what? A lot of fun. You broken teeth. The way you wear your hat. The way you sip your tea. The memory of all that. No, no, they can't take that away from me. The way your smile just be.
Why didn't you tell me? You wouldn't listen. These men are wonderful. They sing, they dance, they go forever. I told you that. Okay. Please don't not show this minute. No poster. A thousand dollars? Use picture of pretty girl. It only works. <laughs> I want buses at junction meeting every train. You got it. You got it. We advertise in papers all over state. In every paper? In this state? How many could that be? That's true. Okay, I want everybody on stage in 10 minutes for rehearsal. All right, let's go. And somebody clean up this mess. It looks like French Revolution. <laughs>
Addendum A. Addendum B. Addendum B. Addendum C. Addendum C. Now where's the appendix? I think it's about here. Bobby, you've been back here for six weeks and you haven't learned anything. I know. Where is your brain? Dead rock. You didn't ask what's in it. What's it thinking? Well, there's this girl. Not again. It's the same one. Well, forget about her. And remember, whoever you marry requires my prior approval. Now come here. I've got a little surprise for you. We foreclosed on another property. Happy birthday. Gee, I don't know what the deed of property, wow. It means you own the property. Great, thanks. Aren't you going to ask me what property? What property? This one. You're kidding. The Zangler Theater. I own the theater? It's all yours. Oh my god. You always wanted to dance on stage. Now you have a stage to dance on. It's your toy. Mother, you're wonderful. Hopefully this will keep you here in New York. It's mine! This whole theater, every single uncomfortable seat. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Like it? I... Wait a second. What happened to Zangler? He couldn't make the payments. Apparently he's wasting all his money on that silly theater in Nevada. I understand he's doing it for some woman. He's doing it for Tess. I don't know her name! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shall we look around? I'll be right there. Polly.
Cheers, everybody. Drop that long face, come on, have your fling. Why keep nursing the If you want this whole world on a string, put on your dancing shoes, stop wasting time. Put on your dancing shoes, watch your spirits fly. Who could ask for anything more?
is our last show, so let's get started with that. Thank you so much. Uh, this award is for someone uh, who's helped us a lot with our characters, and he helped me become uh, such a jerk. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Pierce. Good job. for us. Um, she was there every rehearsal, 
um, telling us what to do and just helping out and everything. So we just want to thank um, Audrey Thompson. <laughs> dance captain who made all these dances look absolutely fantastic. We didn't look like idiots and she worked so hard to make them look So thank you, Katie. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 